Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about, I believe this is new, it's the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pencil. Now, I saw an ad on this on Instagram. I saw a video on it on YouTube and it looked really nice. So I'm huge into brows and honestly, eyebrow products are something that I, makeup wise, typically will burn through. Like I use, you know, I have a couple of my favorites that I like. It's definitely a product that I often replenish because I do my eyebrows, you know, maybe not daily, but if I'm going out or obviously if I'm filming, I always have to have my eyebrows done. Um, so it's, it's definitely a must for me. So I saw this, it looked really nice. I don't know if this is my shade. There was like, I forgot how many shades there were, but I feel like the one that I was supposed to get was like a medium, it was like medium brown or something and deep brown was the only one they had and then it was like an even darker shade. So we're gonna try it. I mean, honestly, I haven't dyed my hair in well over a year. So all of this is my natural hair color and typically with eyebrows you wanna match close to your hair color. The rule is, if you have dark hair, you do a shade lighter than your hair color, but if you're blonde, you can do a shade darker, but it's all preference. All right, so here it is, let's read its claims. It says that it lasts up to 36 hours. Uh, I'm not gonna have my eyebrows on for 36 hours, I'll have them on for a few hours. I don't usually have a problem with them like disappearing. If you guys want an update, I can leave a comment and pin it. Um, onto how long it lasted, or I can put it in the description box, like, you know, after a couple of hours. It says, defined pigmented brows, sharp, sharpenable? Sharp I didn't even know that was a word. You can sharpen it. <laughs> it's smudge resistant, which is good. This I feel like this is something that would be great, especially during the summertime when it's like humid and everything. So there it is. I'm gonna open it. I will do up close swatches for you guys, for sure. I want it to try it on too. So we're gonna do that. I got mine at Target. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I don't think it was over $10 to be honest with you. So here it is. It's got a nice like plastic cap. Here's the spoolie. Oh, the spoolie's not bad. It's a little big, but I like the shape of it, so that's good. And here's the color. Oh, that's what it looks like. Um, I thought, it's so funny, it kind of reminds me of like a gel eyeliner. So let's cut into swatches, and then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna try it on and see how it goes. And now here we have the Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, 36 hour eyebrow pencil. There it is up close. My shade that I picked up is deep brown. Might be a little little deep for me, but we'll make it work. This is what it looks like. This is after I sharpened it, by the way. You can sharpen it. Um, it does remind me of like a gel pencil, but the pigmentation is uh, there for sure. So that is deep brown. It's not red. It's a nice ashy tone, so it's not gonna turn red on my skin. And you'll see that in the in the demo, so. Very nice, and then here's an up close of the, the spoolie. So it's it's pretty like long and it tapers out at the end, but it's good. I like the way it blended everything out. So I'll show you guys a demo now. You saw the swatches. It looks nice. It definitely reminds me of like an eyeliner pencil, like a gel liner. So I'm very curious to see how this actually holds up. And I think the color shade, we might be okay with it. I like that it's not red. It definitely has more of an ashy tone, so that would be good for me because sometimes if I use something that is too red, it'll turn on my skin. All right, so I'm gonna get in close and I'm gonna start on this eyebrow. Wow, a little like pressure goes a long way. You don't have to press very hard and I'm holding it like at the very end of the pencil. 
This literally glides onto your skin. It's a very, very creamy pencil. Like as I'm applying it to my eyebrow, like you could see that it's like it almost like molds a little bit or it's very, um, so it's got like a soft tip, but it's super pigmented. It fills in nice. I think the color might be a little bit too dark for me. But let's blend it out and see. Oh, I love the spoolie. The spoolie's doing a nice job of blending it. It's so creamy. I can't get over how creamy it is. But it, it's nice though. It's getting the job done very nicely. I'm going to get into like my sparse areas right here and just build up a little bit up here. It blends out very nice. Whoa, that looks good. It's definitely pigmented. You want to absolutely go with a light hand for sure. You can see that I went a little bit heavy here. I think if I had that medium brown shade, it would probably look a little bit better. It's a little dark for my liking, but I can get away with it. Let me just pull back a little bit so you guys could see. And the spoolie is great. I like that. So like if you see on one side, um, actually no, it all looks like that, but I don't know, but the, the way that it's shaped, like it's elongated is nice. And the bristles are not overly stiff, which I think with this formula is good because it blends it out really nice. Um, you know, it pretty much does the blending for you, does the job for you. So now I'm just gonna pull back and you could see like this eyebrow on this side is definitely more defined. Um, it looks good, it looks really good. So, I'm amazed. It just glides like right onto your skin. And with the littlest amount of pressure, like no effort. That's crazy. <laughs> this one's nice. I'd say this definitely gets the job done very quickly. It fills in very, very good. Again, I know that this shade may be a little bit too dark for me. I mean, I can, I can make it work. My hair is darker, but that's nice. I mean, it's really nice. And the good thing is like you can, um, you can sharpen it. Now the, uh, what do you call it? The container in which this is in, uh, it reminds me of the, what was it? LA girl, that neon eyeliner, like it feels plastic. So in case you get this and you're like, Oh my God, is this going to work? We're going to sharpen it together right now. Cause I do want a finer tip, but I'm putting it in here. And it does, sorry, I know it's like dirty in there. It does sharpen, okay. I was a little bit worried because it, it is like a, it's not like your traditional pencil, um, eyebrow pencil or anything like that. Like this isn't what it's plastic, but you can absolutely sharpen it. I just did it right now. So it will sharpen in case you were worried. And 
yeah, I think it's good. I think I'm liking it more and more as I'm like looking at it and kind of blending it out. I think the color actually does work pretty well with my skin tone and my hair. And with a sharper point, you can get in there and really define. But again, a little bit goes a long way and just use the spoolie to, to blend it out. Let, let it do the work for you. You don't have to sit there and go crazy blending it. I think that's great. I think my eyebrows look more put together for sure. So, all right. I like it. It's a good one. It's a good pencil. Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.